hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is chimaima today i'm going to give advice to funai mbbs aspirant then for preclinicals we wear uniforms white and black and make sure that you have skirts and those skirts are not too short let them be just on your knee or below your knee or slightly above your knee because if they are too short they will turn you actually when you're writing an exam and then for shirt get proper button white shirt i'm not saying they will disturb you if your shirt is not proper button but just be on the safe side and try to have button proper buttoned white shirt especially for exams and tests for preclinicals that's 200 level and 300 level 400 level i don't think they disturb 100 level students for uh, uniform you don't have to worry about that but from 200 and 300 level they are quite strict about the uniform not just any uniform get shoes to cover shoes for the ladies then get your skirt for females no wearing of trousers i repeat no wearing of trousers then for both males and females your white polo should be far away from you try and get button of white shirt and then your skirt decent looking skirt please anything crazy you're gonna be turned out then one more thing you should know is that for the 200 level and 300 level where the classes hold is in the college of medicine building itself and is located on the outskirts of the school environment so you're gonna pay transport to go to that place except you want to trek the long 15 to 20 minutes walk every day you're going to class and back and transport is not cheap it's about 150 if you're using bus to go then 150 back even if you're staying in the hostel the hostel is far away from the classroom prepare yourself ahead of time transport is very expensive and another thing is there are not even enough buses because they've banned kekes and bikes so they're not even enough buses so you can come out late for class and you'll never see a vehicle that will carry you there except of course things will change by the time you get mbs admission fingers crossed this information i'm giving to you is asa 2024 one more thing is you should have umbrella you know have this small student sized umbrella in your bag because funa is very hot have your sunscreen to protect you from the sun don't be like me <laughs> funa is close to Enugu which is close to Benue and North Central so the sun is not even friendly to anybody rain can be falling in other states in the south but Funai you're not gonna see rain and when the rain comes it comes very violently prepare yourself ahead of time make sure you always have an umbrella in your bag for those that love to cook there's Unwaku market there's junction market then there's also market in the school but the market in the school is quite expensive so if you want to buy your things in bulk i advise that you go there well opposite directly opposite the school main gate there's a very big shop that sells in wholesale as well it's a fair slim um smallish man that has that shop his prices are quite good just that he's very rude but his things are cheap if you want provision in wholesale that is affordable you can buy there but we also have supermarkets and all that you can buy if you're a rich kid you know <laughs> you're going to get things in the supermarket but they are more expensive then if you want food stuff proper food stuff like yam gare and the rest just go to junction market enter keke and tell the keke you're going to junction when they drop you there you cross over you see a big market or you go to mwaku enter keke tell the keke you're going to mwaku mwaku is on the left side from the school main gate while junction is on the right side from on from the school main gate uh, front gate rather and then there's Unwaku market day there's also junction market day find out on which market days are available so that you i would advise you buy things on your market day because you get variety you'll be able to buy in bulk and cheaper and then when you're going to the market don't dress like a rich kid you know try to look as homeless as possible to try to get cheaper prices from these villagers because when they find out that this is a student that is buying this thing from them they're gonna hike their price and you don't want that when you're looking for a cheap option for the brainiacs that are watching me distinction is very possible in funai preclinicals and clinicals distinction is very possible but you have to work hard for it then for the preclinicals for anatomy to get anatomy distinction is harder it's really harder because anatomy department uses closed marking system so there's a limit to the score that you can get like there's a limit to how high you can score in anatomy so it kind of you know restricts you to a large extent so it's quite difficult to have distinction in anatomy but that's not to say it's not possible it's very very possible as of now in the history of this school nobody has ever had anatomy distinction but of course you can do it it's very very possible trust me there are so many mistakes that i made in my free clinicals that i know if i had done things differently i sh i would have gotten that distinction in anatomy but well that's why you have me if you do not know i i mentor preclinical students although it's not for free if you're interested check the link down below if the 
price is fair for you it's something you can afford you can chat me up on, on instagram or send me an email and we'll get started from there there will be lots of trekking yeah very very important funa is not such a big school do but you're gonna do a lot of trekking because there's no bike there's no care to take you from one place to another and especially for 100 level classes usually hold in science audit but sometimes they take you to agri audit sometimes they just mix things up you go to humanities and all that's different distances you're trekking to so you can't easily just come out and find a bus that will take you there and even if where you're going to is from here to here you're still going to pay 150 to that bus driver so prepare yourself ahead of time for a lot of trekking that's why i said you should hold your umbrella one more thing i forgot to talk about is the social life there is little to no social life in the preclinical campus this is because the preclinical campus is located in a village it's located in a local government area that's about 30 minutes to one hour away from abakaliki town in fact abakaliki town as a whole has nightlife to an extent it's nothing compared to lagos abuja kind of lifestyle and now not only are you located in a boy state you're also located in a village in a boy state so bro sis <laughs> the social life is little to zero but of course you know the SUG director of socials usually try to organize programs not, not programs per se parties and get togethers here and there and then if you belong to a fellowship they can organize get together parties and all from time to time but life is not so safe in this village because the village youths sometimes can decide to go crazy i don't want to give details here but because of the location of the preclinical campus it's usually not advisable for you to be out of your house at night i personally was attacked in broad daylight in the afternoon around 3 p.m so if i can be attacked at that time of the day imagine what will happen at night so i wouldn't advise any of you to get yourself involved in anything that will keep you out late at night please it's not so safe in fact let me even add the security wise make sure that you're at your hostels at the right time all this night class tdb they will tell you it's safe but my friend her phone was collected from her in night class in fact not just my friend many people in my class have had this experience in night class at gunpoint phone was collected from them so i beg i'm not not saying funa is not safe neither am i saying funa is safe just be on the safe side especially for the preclinical campus don't stay out late at night by 7 p.m you should be in your hostel in your room safe and sound i'm not a fan of tdb i'll never support it except that tdb you're doing it in another friend's hostel room but for you to say you're going to classroom to do tdb it's not so safe then if you're a fan of shawarma i would strongly recommend do see shawarma i don't know if you see doing shawarma right now hey just try when you get admission eh, and when you get the ask of Dusi Shawama, they are located on the road that leads to junction very trackable from school main gate that Shawama is to die for then i forgot to add there's what is called i think atangara festival or something like that like a masquerade festival that happens in that village and on those days they say anybody that sees that masquerade you'll be stripped or something like that i don't know if it's real or if it has ever happened to anybody but on the days that that festival holds they usually tell us to stay back in our hostel it's usually a lecture free day kind of or a at least half lecture free day kind of so that's tell you how serious that festival is so don't go and do strong head and say i did not hear they usually advertise it on the social media platform that students should be very careful at junction area note that the festival will not happen right inside the school premises but it will happen at junction area so whenever you hear that that festival is on that day just be on the safe side don't say that is when you want to go to market or that is when you want to go to junction to do one thing or the other just stay safe in the school environment and stay around the school main gate environment you'll be okay if there's something i forgot to add i'm going to add it welcome to funai medical school by the way if you want to reach out to me i'm not active on whatsapp i'm very active on instagram chat me up on instagram reina underscore etting underscore medic underscore diary and i'll be so elated to chat up with you